Hey, Annie. Hey. (laughs) I have a question for you. Yes, answer for you. Are you ready to go to Quigley's Village? No, never. (laughs) But I'm here for it. I'm going to go anyways with you by my side. I wouldn't go with anyone else. I wouldn't either, honestly. (laughs) (laughs) So a quick intro to what we're going to be watching. Quigley's Village is a Christian children's show. We watched it a lot as little kids, along with Donut Man and some other Christian children's shows. Personally, I think that Quigley's Village is the weirdest. Super weird, yeah. And like, just even back then, I remember feeling a little unsettled watching it, you know? I would still watch it, but it definitely wasn't one of my favorites at all. And it was just very unsettling and like a little disconcerting to watch or like, you know, I'm sure I wouldn't, definitely wouldn't use those words back in the day as a child, but like, just remember that was the feeling that I got, you know? Yeah, that's really interesting because I remember feeling really comforted and warm and fuzzy watching it. Really? Oh, wow. Which, you know, I think speaks to our different experiences (laughs) growing up in Christian fundamentalism. Very much so. I know I'm going to be thinking about Donut Man as we watch it and kind of like comparing it in my mind. Because those were, I think, the two main shows that we would watch. And there also is a Donut Man Christmas special. This is going to be the Quigley's Village Christmas special. And I'm pretty sure they have the same core message, you know, of Jesus being the greatest gift of all. Yes. Well, yes, absolutely. The best present of all is Jesus. All the best present of all is God's love. I think, um, I mean, they're not very creative. All of them have a middle-aged white man with, or surrounded by a bunch of children or a bunch of puppets that represent children. Because the other one that we watched a lot was the NIV Kids Club, also a middle-aged white man. <laughs> and children. And they all sing. <laughs> and lots of children. And actually, yeah, there's big problems with that. I mean, with with both NIV Kids Club and Donut Man, there are certain scenes that I'm really uncomfortable with, with the children like sitting on their laps and things like that. And so I will have to say Quigley's Village, at least I feel grateful that there's no actual human children being filmed <laughs> with, yeah. uh, with, with Mr. Quigley, but, um, but it's still very eerie, these puppets. It's so like such a sick and twisted metaphor that children are being portrayed as puppets and how children in evangelical spaces are usually used as puppets, you know, for the greater Christian good, (laughs) the greater Christian narrative. And how even though in the, you know, no real children, hopefully, weren't harmed during the making of Mr. Quigley's Village, that all of the children who are watching and all of the parents who are watching are internalizing messages of the children being, you know, puppets. Um, And I find it super weird, you know, it's like, it's like a sadistic Christian Avenue Q. (laughs) That's a really good point. Yeah. And they're, they're supposed to, the children watching are supposed to see themselves (laughs) in the puppets, I think. Exactly. Yeah. And I could see where they're going with that. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, buckle up. Buckle up, Buttercup. (laughs) (laughs) Let's do this. Spending the day here at Quigley's Village, getting to know other kids like you. Wait, why is Lemon wearing that hair? (laughs) I already have questions. Lemon? Lemon's the, the yellow, like, little lion. Sorry, I'm probably going to pause this so much. And if you need me to pause, let me know. Yeah. Do we have like a signal? <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a little. <laughs> okay, sounds good. You'll hear the message, God loves you and we do too. It's coming back. It's coming back. Yeah. The, the song. Mm-hmm. Mr. Quigley, Danny and Lemon and Bubba too. Cuddle and Spike, we are growing. We 
we are learning about God's way. Just to point out the indoctrination there. <laughs> also, the singing's not very good. No, no. We've got definitely some dissonance going on, I think, in those harmonies. Yeah. The singing sucks. All right. We're all together sharing in our happy family. So God loves you. God loves you. God loves you and we do too. <laughs> I just, I find it really, like the him, like, being, like lounging in a chair surrounded by the puppets is like super weird and and like why didn't they have any real children just out of curiosity like also why is it his village oh that's his name quickly yeah, he's mr quigley oh you're right you're totally right like how did he acquire this village and yeah he owns the village i guess he's like the mayor i hate it no. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Good morning A and Merry Christmas. It's nice to see you. Mr. Quigley, what are you doing out there? It sounds like you're dropping things. Oh, I oh my. Try Good morning, to... Mr. Quigley. Good morning, morning Trundle. Molly. Morning, Molly. I was just trying to carry too much and then... And all these boxes went flying everywhere. <laughs> well, I can't even face. I hate this already. I'm like, feel like I'm starting to break out in hives. Okay, so the the bird talks like all the children, and is a puppet like all of the children, but is in a cage. Yes, I've been thinking about this as we've gotten like closer to doing this video. I was like, that is so uncomfortable that he is in the cage but he's the only one does he ever get out of the cage well in the intro there you could kind of see him with like some fishing gear or something so maybe he's let out for certain occasions i hate this okay ready uh, who are all these gifts for well after the christmas play tonight i'm going to give a gift to each of the kids is there one for me trundle do you think i'd forget you well, Mr. Quigley, after you read your letter, I'd be glad to help you carry these. God loved the world so much that he gave the best gift of all, his own son, Jesus. Do you mean... Who is this from? I don't know. What? Fans of Ter Quigley's Village. Terrible segue, just to throw that out there. No, but that's, that's how these, um, like, evangelical kids shows and other media go. It's like... We're doing something totally normal. Jesus. <laughs> it's like a jump scare. It's like a jump scare. It's like this came out of nowhere. That Jesus is a gift from God? He sure is. That's what Christmas is all about, Trundle. God giving us a gift. I'll meet you over there, Mr. Quigley. Okay. Thank you, Molly. But Trundle won't meet you there because he's stuck in the cage. Exactly. Also, did they just like rip off Charlie Brown? That's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of a whole Christian deal, so it's hard to be original. Yeah. Don't forget mine, Mr. Quigley. Well, I got them all. <laughs> it's slipping. Do you have it, you guys? What'd you make this out of, Milty? It's so heavy. This is the kitchen table. Uh, oh, yeah. Whoa! Help! 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 The kitchen table's got me! <laughs> uh, Danny, are you okay? I've never been hit by a falling star before. This is a great star. <laughs> Did you get... I hate the moose's voice. <laughs> I hate it. I hate this whole thing. Okay, let's go. <laughs> the gifts for baby Jesus? Well, no, I did more than you. You didn't get the gifts for baby Jesus. I was right. Danny has a uh, like breathy voice. He's like, and this is me, and I'm Danny, and I like talk with my breath at first. Wise men wouldn't be wise men if they didn't bring gifts. 
Maybe Jesus will understand. Well, we better get to the rehearsal, because it's ready to start soon. Is everyone ready for the rehearsal? Oh, yes, Buster Quigley. Love these transitions. They're yeah. Just... Chef's kiss. <laughs> okay, I'm we're going to so start. I can't wait to be now. Yeah. Oh, I oh, know. Oh, you look wonderful. Remember, you must promise to be very, very careful with Mrs. Toddy. She's very nervous. Oh, yeah. don't worry, Labbad. I'm very proud of you, Mrs. Toddy. <laughs> we'll take care of Mrs. Toddy. There you are. Yeah. I remember that baby. Like, yeah, I feel like when I saw the baby, I felt like I had like a that's so raven moment where I was like <laughs> back into the past. And it's horrible. It's terrifying. There you go, Mrs. Toddy. Yeah. <laughs> Baby Jesus would be a lot more comfortable if he had a pillow under his head. Maybe you could give the innkeeper a dollar. How about coming into Bethlehem on a horse? Better yet, yes? how about in a limousine? Oh. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Uh, are you comfortable? Would you like some lemonade chips? That I'll find is the best hotel room money can buy. Well, thank you. I think I'm about as comfortable as a queen would wow. be. What are you doing? Oh, best. oh, you silly children with your creativity. <laughs> Why would I love that part so much? Like, that's actually not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> I know, but here comes Mr. Quigley to squash it. <laughs> Yeah, fuck this guy. <laughs> oh. well, it looks like you're having a good time. Yeah. yeah. And we think we... Why does he have a clipboard? Because <laughs> he's marking down their performance and grading them. Made the story even better. Yeah. <laughs> How do you improve on the Christmas story? Well, we think that baby Jesus deserves more than straw to sleep on. Yeah. Well, you're right. But that doesn't mean we should change the story. No? Huh? Well, there is a happy ending. Huh? You see, God gave the gift wow. so that all people... No, it's not a happy ending at all. He <laughs> tortured and murdered. I like how he suddenly turned to look at us. Oh, okay, Mr. Quigley. Dude. Trust me, I'm paying attention. You don't need to stare into my soul like that. A thousand percent, yeah. Okay, Mr. Quigley. <laughs> Don't think the baby Jesus should at least have some warm pajamas. Oh, let's put it down over here. Maybe next time you can make the star out of cardboard or something like that. I never <laughs> thought of that. <laughs> <gasps> what was that? I just like their voices just kill me so much. They're so fucking funny. They're like, well, maybe like... It's like, who, why, why do they talk like this? Look at all those presents. I wonder where they all came from. I wish they were all for me. I love to get presents. <laughs> Are they going to, they're, I'm assuming it's going to be like, it's bad that Danny wants presents. And fuck that little kid for liking to get presents and shit like that. Yeah. I think so. I mean, the kids are doing all the wrong things here. They're changing the Christmas story details. They're wanting gifts. Yeah. When it's supposed to be, you know, enough that Jesus is the greatest gift of all. Never mind that kids don't really understand any of this. <laughs> oh, these presents. I love presents. <laughs> A king should get piles of presents from his loyal subjects. They're all for me, because I'm the king. <laughs> king, king, they're for me, they're for me. Oh, boy, oh, I wonder if this one over here is for me. Yeah. Danny, what are you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Quigley. Oh, Danny. Look at all the presents underneath the tree. All of my gifts, and that's the reason I can't. Thoughts? It's musical. It's a musical. Yeah. Musical. Yeah, not as much music as Donut Man, but definitely a song here or there. Another jump scare, so to speak. Super duper, super duper jump scare. Okay. I want to tell you something that I really believe. The 
Christmas time is more than all the gifts we receive. The Father up in heaven gave his only son. The reason was to show his love to everyone. He really, 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 really wants us to know that Christmas is more than pretty paper and bows. For he wants us to be living, knowing that joy is in the giving. I'm, I'm speechless. Same. I think there's probably at least one gift in there with your name on it. I can't wait to find it. Let's see over here. I don't see one for me here. Wait a minute. I have to tell Mr. Quigley that we can't have Christmas. No. It looks a lot better. Like okay, that. everyone. Okay. We're going to start on scene four. So, Lemon, why don't huh. you begin? And there were shepherds out in the country keeping watch over their flocks at night. This will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes. Swaddling clothes are just strips of cloth that they used to wrap babies in. We need to ask Lemon something. Yeah. Oh, sure. Okay. All right. That's fine. Right. Um, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> You will find the baby wrapped in a satin blanket. Yeah. <laughs> well, wait, 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 Lemon. We need oh. to stop right here, I think, for uh -huh. a second. The Bible says that he was born in a very simple place. Oh. Should have been born in a mansion. Yeah. Well, I know it's hard to understand. His gift to the world was for everyone, the oh. rich and the poor. If God wanted everyone to have his gift, I don't think we should change the story. Yeah. I'll go put Mrs. Toddy back into her swaddling clothes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Lemon, why don't we take it where we left off? All right. And on earth, peace to all on whom his favor rests. On all whom his favor rests. <laughs> so not everyone. <laughs> Just wanted right. to put that out there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kind of gloss over that a little bit. <laughs> right. right. To heaven. Let's hurry to Bethlehem and see this thing the Lord has told us about. Hey. Okay, those are pretty cute. They're adorable. I really like those little snails. <laughs> oh my god. Aww. Little snail shepherds. So cute. So cute. I said, let's hurry to Bethlehem. Is it okay if I carry the snails, Brittany and Kyle? <laughs> sure, that's just fine. Oh, great. Okay, let's go, y'all. Oh, it's okay, Danny. Maybe I wasn't good enough this year. Huh? They're about to start rehearsing the shepherd scene, and we have to hang the star. I don't feel like being a wise man anymore, Dexter. Oh, I see. Whose birthday do we celebrate at Christmas time? Jesus' birthday. It's baby Jesus' birthday, and we forgot to get a present. Oh, no. Ready? Yeah. What is this storyline? <laughs> what is even happening? There's no continuity. At all. And, like, why do we care? Why do we care? No, we don't care. <laughs> We don't care. <laughs> we don't care. Wait, 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 wait. Go, 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 go. Okay. Well, it'll probably be the first Christmas play ever where the wise men see a table in the East. Oh, by the way, did you intend to give Danny something tonight along with everyone else? He was pretty upset. Well, well I'm, I'm pretty in pain. Here, buddy, okay. go. Why are they having this long conversation with him with the star on his shoulder? For real. Like, this is excellent comedy for children. They will love this. <laughs> there. Let me tell you. Hurry. I'm sure I'll be able to find the gift when I go home to get my coat. <laughs> there must be something in here that I can give to Jesus. Maybe. <laughs> is it the painting that you're freaked out? Yes. <laughs> what? Maybe something in the box here. Holding a, a baseball club, baseball. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. And he's wearing a baseball hat. Okay, okay. Wow. <laughs> this is not what I thought was happening in that painting. Wow, that was really jarring. Maybe he'd like my baseball glove. No. 
Maybe he'd like a book of Bible bedtime stories. Were there pilgrims on the back of that book of Bible stories? Pilgrims? Yeah. Oh, no. Look, look, I'm going back. Yep. Those are fucking pilgrims. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's kind of how white evangelicals see the Bible. They were all pilgrims. Jesus. They were all pilgrims. <laughs> Jesus, I want to give you something really special. Danny. And yet another jump scare. <laughs> but again, so normalized in like Christian children's media. Just like, we're in modern clothes. We're in Bible clothes. <laughs> we're a pilgrim. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're a pilgrim. Just a sad, wise man walking along. Aww. I guess I just don't feel very Christmassy. I dropped a whole bunch of packages, and I forgot to pick one of them up. Whose present was it? Yours. <gasps> it's a Rocky Ranger Cadet Super Utility Pocket Knife. You, you, you've heard of it before? Yes, I have. Thank you, Mr. Quigley. You're welcome. I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. Good evening. Welcome to our presentation of the Christmas story that he gave the best gift of all, his own son, Jesus. Okay, Lemon, go ahead. Let a census be taken of all the inhabited earth. We could skip over this part if we want to. <laughs> we know this story. <laughs> Okay, let's get back to the action. And there were shepherds out in the country like you gotta do it watch over their I hope the way to this star doesn't pull me up. And Lord, okay. He must be afraid, for I bring you good news. After it. I think that did make me laugh as a kid, I have to admit. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. From the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying... That's the, the, the caged bird. Oh, they let him out for the performance. They let him out. Oh, my God. This is brutal. This is dark. Yeah. How did I get this? Dexter. To go to Bethlehem. Dexter. I want someone to not know anything about this show and just show them that clip where he's like, Dexter, <laughs> and then just be like, what is this show about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the star which they had seen in the east went before them. They rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. Yippee. And they presented him with treasures. And a Rocky Ranger Cadet Utility Pocket Knife. Oh, wow. Wow. Now kiss. I was literally thinking that. I was like, no, Ellie, don't say that. I'm so glad you said it. <laughs> I sensed a little moment there. Yeah. Dexter in his sweater. <laughs> you call right in your need of in your moment of peril, Dexter. <laughs> I don't like the inside of her mouth. All the songs are weird. <laughs> yeah. Shall we skip this song? Yeah. Okay. Huh? We've only had two songs. Yeah. We could we could have just done without them. <laughs> yeah, very much so. For God to love the world and when he why do they look like twins? <laughs> Maybe they are. They look so much alike. This is weird. <laughs> they keep it in the family. The two of them singing in those sweaters with that music in the background takes me right back to church as a kid. <laughs> like I was like, oh, okay, I'm I'm in my apartment. Phew. <laughs> yeah, right? Totally. 
Baby Jesus, I love you. Why? We didn't really see any character arc of Danny like loving Jesus in any way, shape, or form. There's like no reason, just because. Mm -hmm. because? Or well, he got a little bit of shame there from the grown-ups. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. I have some notes for when this is over. That God loved us first and gave the best gift of all, his own son Jesus. Nice job, everyone. Oh, you did thanks. wonderful. Good. Wow. It is really weird that he's talking to them like they're children. You kind of forget that they're puppets, you know? I know. I have a gift for everyone backstage before you leave, okay? Oh my God, that's great. Thank you for the nice gift, Mr. Quigley. You're welcome, Trundle. Good night and and Merry Christmas. Sleep well. I am so glad you came to visit the village today. You know you're welcome here anytime. Have a very Merry Christmas. Good night. Long ago and far away. Okay. <laughs> My biggest complaint here story-wise is we don't have any reason there's no reason that we're given why jesus is the most am amazing gift they don't get into it they don't tell us why the the story is terrible the the what was the point of the star what was the point of the star thing that's very true what was the point of any of it <laughs> what what was the point of any of it like yeah kids put on a show and nothing happens nothing happened i was disappointed if you could change the story what would you do yeah okay so i would say we would follow the lives of the puppets we would know about the puppets we would care about the puppets outside of danny likes presence we would like know like who danny is and what danny likes to do and like we would follow a baseball game christian christmas movies always 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 include the nativity story and i just think we could think outside the box i think we could do something different don't you think like i am kind of against christian children's media in general so I'm the wrong person to ask <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah but just go go with my fantasy here for a second all right, all right okay yes I do think that we could think outside the box for sure yes like or or even like okay we do the nativity story but we don't read it from the bible and we think it's like sort of like Shakespeare you know like we all know the stories so let's think of a new way to tell the story mm -hmm. you know? Maybe Jesus is in a limo, you know? Right. I thought that was a great idea. I thought those were great notes and creative thinking outside of the box. And I think Quigley is just an old stick in the mud, personally. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you that it's extremely boring and pointless. At the same time, though, it also equally, but in a different way, irks me when Christian media is creative because then I feel like they're able to be more sneaky. If it's obviously boring and not well done, then it's, they're going to be less successful with, you know, pulling people in. I feel like that's the thing about how, yes, it might be more interesting if they're in a limo, but this, the purpose behind it is the same and the con conclusion is going to be the same. And I think, I think that's why more creative Christian media actually really bothers me because they like to say, Oh, look, this is so creative and interesting. Like we have like a different take on it. We're not like stuffy, you know, like old school Christians who only sing hymns, but it like, it's still going to be, Jesus coming to the earth as the savior for your sins. So you don't go to hell and like, you know, you're, you still need to go spread the gospel and like take the kingdom for the Lord and shit like that. 
Yeah, I I think I'm like as we're talking about it, I the, it's the same story, no matter whether it's a Christmas story or a story about someone getting saved or a story about a family getting saved. It, it's literally it, it's, it's the same exact story over and over and over and over again, and you can't make it interesting until you change the story. Yeah, and, like the core story. Right. It's the exact same thing. I think really when you think about really well told stories, there's no agenda. You're they're not tr- like a good storyteller isn't trying to it's not always a parable or it's not always it's not like a a black and white answer there there isn't an answer oftentimes in a good story you know it's like it's oftentimes good storytelling shows you the perspective of an antagonist so it's just sort of like I I want to know I want to see a story about Satan and about like Lucifer and his real like his like romance with Jesus and sort of getting thrown out of heaven because they were fucking too much I don't know like or Jesus is like closeted and doesn't want his dad to abuse him for being queer totally yes I would love to see that and I just I'm not getting that from the evangelical world you know (laughs) no I wouldn't say so (laughs) just not hearing those stories I think we should think outside the box Uh, any closing thoughts (laughs) Um, I think Donut Man is a little more interesting if I were to compare the two, maybe a lot more interesting. A lot. Yeah. Like he's definitely a better dresser than Quigley, Mr. Quigley. (laughs) There's more music. The music is catchy. Better. Yeah. I mean, the lyrics, you know, are still harmful to kids, but the actual delivery of the songs is much much better yeah i don't know that's that's kind of all i got when it comes to quigley's village yeah me too i was just gonna say thank you for bringing me along the journey and um for being there for moral support because i definitely wouldn't have watched the whole thing alone for sure i would not have been able to get through it so thanks for being there for me with me absolutely thank you for coming along with me maybe in the future we can tackle the niv kids club next yeah that will unlock a lot of songs that are trapped back back here oh yeah all right well thank you everyone for watching feel free to follow us on social media check out annie's channel annie has and Instagram. I think I'm going to probably be getting back on Instagram in the new year. So you can follow us both. We'll have links down below. Happy holidays to anyone who celebrates holidays. Sending you all lots of love and wishing you all the best. Happy almost new year. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.